Mimi Bus. World Classic Fairy Tales: The Determined Tin Soldier, Part Two. In the previous episode, the one-legged soldier that fell out the window was picked up by two children. They folded a piece of newspaper into a boat and were about to send the tin soldier on a long voyage. We appoint you as the commanding officer of this warship. Set off! Da 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 da! The warship was put into the drain. It was very simply equipped. Besides the tin soldier and his musket, there was nothing to help him steer. This was no warship, just a paper boat. Ho ho! Brave the winds and waves. Sail on courageously. The little boat bobbed up and down and swayed on the water. It was enough to make most people dizzy, but the tin soldier stood determined and still remaining calm. After a short while, the little boat had traveled along the current into a long, wide sewer. It was dark and quiet, concealing the challenges that lay ahead. I want to see what places this little boat will drift to. No scary sewers would frighten our tin soldier. But no matter what, being by myself is lonely. <sighs> If only the dancer girl was on this boat too. Then whether light or dark, whether the weather was calm or turbulent, it wouldn't matter to me. He began to miss the dancer girl. Who wants to pass through here? Do you have a permit? Out of nowhere, a big rat jumped out. Why would the tin soldier listen to a rat's command? He didn't answer the rat at all. The big rat was exasperated and chased after the boat, refusing to let up. Hey, I'm talking to you. Do you know the rules here? Sail on! The tin soldier calmly gave the little boat the order to move forward. The big rat was very angry and yelled at the branches and trash floating around in the drain. Stop him! Catch him! He doesn't have a permit and refuses to pay the sewer toll. It looked like those branches and trash were the rat's subordinates. Russell. In the darkness, the tin soldier heard the big rat getting closer and closer. Always be prepared for trouble. He gripped his musket tightly, ready for action. The little boat sailed forward in a hurry, while the water around it became torrential. After dodging two whirlpools, the big rat and his subordinates were trapped. The tin soldier saw light up ahead. He was nearing the exit. Splash! The sound of the water grew louder and louder, so loud that nothing else could be heard. In front of the sewer was a canal. Before rushing into the canal, they had to pass a flight of steps with a turbulent current. But to the tin soldier and the little boat, that meant leaping over a waterfall. Oh, that was really close! The little boat rushed out of the sewer, falling into the canal. The tin soldier worked hard to stand straight, tossing and turning with the little boat in the waves. It was no easy feat. But this dangerous journey proved to be too much for the paper boat as it slowly broke apart. The poor tin soldier started to sink to the bottom of the river. Oh, it looks like I'll never see that girl again. Did you think the tin soldier would be stuck forever at the bottom of the river? No way! A big greedy fish happened to swim by, and it swallowed him whole. It was dark and smelly in the belly of the fish. It was even more dizzying than being on the boat. The tin soldier was still very determined, though, and he held on tight to his musket. The tin soldier didn't know how long it had been, but finally the fish stopped moving. What happened? Whoosh! A streak of light, like lightning, flashed across the tin soldier's eyes. It was a knife cutting open the big fish's belly. Oh, it's the tin soldier! <laughs> the big fish had been caught by a fisherman, then sold at the market. Then it was bought by Nick's mother to make fish soup. What good fortune! The one-legged tin soldier returned to Nick's room from the fish's belly, the room with the dancer girl. Look. The girl was still dancing in the same place, standing on one leg. She was still as beautiful, elegant, and determined. They looked at each other, eyes fueled with determination. Hooray! <laughs> All of Nick's toys cheered at the Tin Soldier's return, proud of his bravery and determination. But suddenly, the black demon from the old bottle appeared once more. 
Oh, you dare to come back? You're no match for my power. Click. The little demon snapped his fingers. He was about to do something bad again. Ew! Uh, this tin soldier smells too fishy! Ugh. I can't stand it! I don't want him anymore! Nick had suddenly changed into another person. He stretched out his hand to toss the tin soldier into the fireplace. Oh dear! Flames engulfed the tin soldier. He was vanishing little by little, but he still never faltered. He gazed at the girl as he said in his heart, Goodbye, beautiful girl. You have my heart. <sighs> A gust of wind blew, lifting the dancer girl into the air. She danced as she flew, elegant and beautiful, flying straight into the fireplace, finally landing beside the tin soldier. They burned together in the flames. Now they were finally together. Maybe they would start a new adventure story.